Hello all, welcome to orotrainings.com. In this session, we'll try to understand what is logical query as well as what is physical query and what is the use of it and how do we find a physical query behind a logical query. Okay, so let's understand the architecture behind it so that you know, like we'll understand what is this presentation, what is logical, what is physical, and all this stuff. So as a developer, when we start to design any analysis, first thing what we do is we'll just go to our particular client tool, nothing but like we'll navigate to analytics in the in our particular BI instance or a fusion instance. And then we just select a particular knowledge area and we'll select a columns and we get the output. But now, if you observe the architecture behind it, whatever we whatever the set of logical or knowledge areas which we've seen, that they are not the actual set of database columns, right? Indirectly, they refer to a database column internally. Now, here, if you observe, this is one of the layered architecture of the set of particular, you know, like uh, the architecture behind the OTBI. So the first thing what we do is as a developer, we access the OTBI client, and then we just drag and drop, we select a knowledge area and drag and drop appropriate columns, and then that will hit a BI server. And then, you know, like it will hit the logical models which are necessary for those particular presentation stuff, and then it will hit the view objects, and then finally, it will hit the database, okay? If at all, if you're working on the BI publisher, you just simply have a query and it will directly hit the database. But when you're working with, when you're working with OTBI client, these are the set of, you know, middle things which are, I mean, set of middle layers or a middle architecture layers which are available, which are available to reduce the effort of a developer to design any component, but the total complicated part, which is taken care by the OTBI server, okay? So now, now, what we want to understand is, let us say we are selecting a particular column or a knowledge area in the BI presentation, and we want to understand what is the real query behind it. So that may help, that generally helps you out when you want to debug an issue in the OTBI, or sometimes you want to find out what is the real table behind so that, you know, like you can just use that and maybe design some other report based on your requirement, okay? So similar architecture, maybe it may have, a, it may not be totally related, but you can just observe here, like uh, assume that you have a client and then here, if you observe the common data model, then it will hit the ADF view objects and then it will hit the database, okay? So now, how come the knowledge area, what we are referring is linked and how do we find out? So generally, for every particular fusion version, so we have something called database lineage mapping that will be provided in the documentation part. So now here, if you observe, like in one of the particular uh, cloud communities documentation part, they clearly mention the subject area database lineage mapping for each particular version, okay? So what we can do is we can just refer to this particular Excel sheet, which they provide in this particular communities link, and then we can verify which knowledge area is belonging to which particular physical database column. Based on that, we can understand, okay, whether this can be used according to our requirement or do we require some other column to be considered, okay? So now, the next thing is how do we identify, right? So first thing what we do is we'll just try to navigate to the fusion in instance and uh, consider one of the simple OTBI report which have OTBI analysis which I have designed and then try to understand how do we find the log physical query behind it. First of all, understand the understand the what you call the logical query and then we'll understand the physical query also. So now here, if you observe here, the knowledge area or subject data which I have selected is receivables custom real time. I just dragged a couple of columns, okay? So maybe around six columns I have and consider account number with this particular filter criteria. And when you click on result, we may get the result based on the condition what we mentioned or based on the in data which is available in the instance. Now, what is the logical query behind it? As a developer, what we understand, or a business analyst, what we understand is we just selected a business, we just selected a particular knowledge area and we just selected the columns and we are getting the output, okay? Now, click on advanced tab and here there are two things which are which are available one is analysis xml other one is sql issued okay so what are the columns which you have selected it provides a particular sql query you just copy this one okay now here if you observe it has information about what which knowledge area and what is the filter criteria okay and also appropriate knowledge area folder database folder column i mean folder name dot appropriate column name and a column alias will be there now what you do is just copy this query. This may not be required. The first set variable is not required. Now copy the, I mean, let it be, the, let the query be like this. Now what we do is navigate to the, navigate to the administration tab, administration link, click on user, click on administration. Now what are the query which we have seen? This is called logical query because 
by this we cannot understand what is the real physical table behind it okay but i just we just want to find out the real physical table behind it this is called logical query now what you do we just clicked on the user clicked on administration and now click on issue sql now just copy this query paste here and now make sure that you select the log level at least you know like a three or four okay so based on the log level you may have a extra information and now just click on issue sql it generates a log okay this is called native query log or nq log nq query log they call it as click on view log okay so it generates information like this like uh, with very complicated amount of log information just copy this one we can easily understand by just experience so for now just paste here now what we do is like in our case what we have considered we have considered the data of customer parties and customer account so at least a partial information we are aware that it uses a table called hz parties or hz cast accounts right just search with the name hz parties now we can observe here it is available in multiple places but this is not the correct one just scroll again scroll down okay now one very important way to understand is can you just see here sending query to database this is what you have to understand the keyword sending query to database named fsm OL trans oltp nothing but all, like a transaction processing system right and after that with followed by the select query okay so this probably ends somewhere here okay it is ending here let me copy yeah, this is the one. So I'll just copy this query into a new sheet. Consider it as SQL query so that we can highlight the columns easily. Okay. So now here, if you observe, based on the set of knowledge area and the columns which you have selected, it would have joined n number of internal joins or I mean SQL uh, equi joins or maybe sub query joins based on the necessity it will perform. Okay. So. But one thing we just want to understand is what are the tables, what are the joints it is considering. Okay. Initially, it seems very complicated, but you just, you know, if you observe a couple of times, you can understand very easily. Okay. One simple example, just see. So now here, if you observe the from clause initially, customer account dot account name. So what is the customer accounts table? This is HZ cust accounts table. And then similarly, let us say, observe party name somewhere. If you have party number, let's say this is a party number from where it is coming. Customer party number is using a table alias called this one. Just search your table alias and it is highlighting which one. This is highlighting this particular, this alias of this particular subquery. And this subquery is coming from which one? Select customer party, evo.party ID, customer PE party number, custom, some, something like that. And from table name as, as table name from HZ parties table, right? So if you observe carefully, like uh, it is having the information about HZ parties, HZ, HZ cust accounts, maybe some other tables also, okay? So this is how. This is a physical query. This is a physical query. The other query which you have seen is called logical query. Okay. And now coming to the very important part, the other one like a database lineage mapping. So database lineage mapping, like uh, I have just downloaded the similar one, already, the Excel sheet already. Just observe the same information. Now the subject area, what we have considered was receivable customers real time. This subject area and presentation table. Now here, if you observe, let's go back. Let's click on criteria. And here, if you observe, what is the folder or what is the folder we have considered customer information? The customer information we are getting two columns, registry ID as well as name. Okay, that's a presentation table, right? The customer information is selected. Let us say I want to select maybe registry ID or party name. You can just select that. Okay, or maybe party name. Some other column will be there anyways. Okay, customer name, we'll select customer name. Okay, so now let us say customer name is nothing but party name, right? So party name, if you observe, this is the vivo of the Oracle ADF, Oracle apps, dot CDM foundation parties, public views. These are public view, nothing but PVO. And this is linked to the physical database called HZ parties and party name, okay? And here, if you observe, there are some, like uh, if the same way, just observe the same thing customer information customer name and in the physical table like this particular one was available was getting retrieved from all these particular database objects okay heads are parties and party name 
So this is the information which database lineage provides. So this will also help out when we are dealing with a very complicated, uh, what you call OTP query or maybe a combination of BI and OTP queries. This will help out a lot, okay? So, and the same thing I have provided in the presentation, just how do we navigate and all those things, okay? And if you want to find out the log information and if you want to tie, if you want to find out the database lining, lineage information, you can just refer to these particular toolings. Okay. So that's all about the information about logical SQL as well.